What's up guys, my name is Mateo. I travel full-time in my 1999 Chevy Astro with my cat Lars, and this is Where is Blue. <laughs> <laughs> How do you afford to do van life? It's a pretty obvious question, but it's also a pretty nuanced question because there, there are so many ways that you can afford to do van life. There's different types, part-time, full-time. Some people will only do it on like the summer vacations or holidays. Uh, there's so many different ways to do it, but I'm gonna tell you guys how I do it. So I've been asked this question on Instagram, on Facebook, on YouTube, every single day, and I haven't addressed it because I wanted to give it a full, long, detailed response. So you guys know. <laughs> it's gonna use me like a springboard, like Captain America. <laughs> All right. Um, <laughs> anyways, I want to give you guys a full detailed response. Hopefully you guys can see me well. It's like really overcast outside today. Um, but yeah, so I think I should start by giving a little backstory because I know a lot of you guys are new. Welcome. Uh, and a lot of you guys who have been here may not remember or maybe didn't see some of my earlier stuff where I explained it. So... This time last year, literally July 2022, I was living in Los Angeles. I was in a long-term relationship. I was working as a professional audio engineer um, and I was pursuing a career as a musician in LA. <laughs> My life was definitely on a different trajectory path. I ended up you know, parting ways with the person that I was dating after close to four years. And I found myself at a point where I fell out of love with LA and making music in general. And for the first time, I didn't know what my purpose was because for <laughs> so many years now, I told myself, I'm gonna be a musician, I'm gonna be a musician. So I was working towards that, making music, traveling, trying to get to LA to become this great big musician that I always dreamed of ever since I was a kid. And now here I am realizing that that's not actually what I wanted. So suffice it to say, I was having a total identity crisis. I didn't know what I was without that part of me. I was scrolling on YouTube one night and I found van lifers. I found all these people who were living on their own terms, slow living, like doing all these things that it just, it was just the antithesis of what my life in LA had become. <laughs> Cause LA, you know, it's just like move, move, move. Everything's so quick. It's like hard to make friends there. I actually hadn't had a friend in years because covid and then all that but uh it really hit me and it just 
seemed like that that was it. It was like an aha moment. <laughs> so I really didn't know what my next steps were because I was getting out of this relationship and my pretty much my only option was to get a roommate and stay in LA, which I really didn't want to do. So I just started becoming obsessed with the idea of van life, watching videos day and night. And I decided that I was gonna try it out. So first thing was first, I needed to get a van. <laughs> so I was still doing audio engineering uh, freelance. Uh, so I continued to do that. I got a job at Amazon as a uh, delivery driver. And I was also doing um, like Uber Eats and Uber and DoorDash and all that stuff. Pretty much anything on the side I could do. I was working constantly to save up money for a van and to have a, like a savings built to actually be able to fund this wild thing that I was about to start. September of 2022, I bought Astro, did a quick little conversion and I left LA and I started to head east. I actually recorded those first few days, not because I was planning to be like a YouTuber. It was just because I knew what I was doing was something that was insane and I would want to remember it forever. So I recorded it, but I actually ended up turning that into my first couple vlogs. Um, I think episode one, two, three, and maybe four are that cross country trip. So definitely go check that out. Um, but yeah, so I survived off of my savings for a few months and then they were gone. <laughs> um, after that, I was still doing, you know, freelancing um, with the audio engineering uh, remotely for a while until it kind of dried up. I think my heart still wasn't in it because I was still uh, not really in the music space. So my whole goal at this time, I was at my, I was staying on my sister's property, me and Lars. And um, my goal was to find remote work because my number one concern was how am I going to work while traveling and having a pet? because I would never just leave Lars in the van while I went and worked for like eight hours a day. There's no way my anxiety could take that. And also I would never put him in that kind of position. So <clears throat> it became, how am I going to work and have Lars? <laughs> so obviously the number one thought was to do remote work. So I actually did a few things that you guys can definitely try as well. Um, so there's this app called Shift Smart, which has like daily jobs you can do. You can um, do anything from working four hours at a gas station to doing online phone jobs for like p political canvassing and stuff like that, which is what I did for a little while until it just became so hectic. <laughs> there was like no great management so it was just kind of it, it it really just wasn't a job to last honestly but there are so many jobs on there i would definitely recommend you guys check shift smart out um you might find something good that can actually help you get out on the road uh another thing that i did was i actually took some courses and got my tefl certification to teach english online which is what I did. Um, I got my certification and I began teaching English online on, um, there was a few sites that I used, but one was Preply. Um, and with that, I found, my, I found that a lot of my clientele weren't in North America, obviously, but the time differences were really crazy. And just for me, it just, became something that I just couldn't keep up with. Um, but again, that is something that you guys could definitely do. I can leave a link for how I got my TEFL certification. It wasn't hard. 
Um, you just have to pay for the courses, take them, pass them, and then you get your certification. So that's what I did for that. Besides that, I, I pretty much, after those, I tried them for a while and they didn't work out. I found myself just working just a normal job, a normal part-time job at a gym. <laughs> I won't say which gym, but I was just working at a gym and trying to still do um, van life part-time. So when I wasn't working, I'd be going on little trips for a couple days. And that's what you guys saw at the beginning of my posting on YouTube, which just, I'd be working and then I would go do something, come back, work. And that was good for a while. But honestly, I started to feel <laughs> like I was trapped to this area. Cause I, I, there were so many places that I'd want to go, but I'd only have like one day or two days, max three days to travel and come back. So I started to feel like a bird in a cage again. And I, I really did something that was crazy. At this point, I had maybe a couple thousand subscribers on YouTube. I was not monetized at all, but I decided to do something really insane that I don't recommend you do because I'm just honestly blessed that it worked. And there he goes, using me like a springboard again. But I sat down with myself and asked myself what I want my life to look like. And the moments that were flashing in my head were the moments where I was traveling and felt free. So I took the biggest risk <laughs> and I um, quit the job that I had with the little amount of savings that I did have. And I created a budget for myself and told myself that before I run out of money, I'm going to be monetized on YouTube and I'm going to be making enough to live on the road. And I left my sister's property, hit the road and tried to focus more on my quality. I upped my posting to twice a week and I really pushed. And the video that I dropped as I was leaving, actually, it definitely didn't go viral, but it got, I think like 80,000 views, which was, which was like, I was averaging like 1,300 or something like that, but it got like 80,000 views. And that video, while I was on the road, got me monetized. It, it pushed me up to that point where I got monetized and I started getting paid. So since May of this year, I've actually been 100% living off of the money that I make from YouTube, from my patrons, my YouTube join members. That is how I've been able to afford to live this van life dream of mine. Um, becoming monetized on YouTube is not something that everyone wants to do or can do. I, I will not lie, I am extremely blessed and lucky to have gotten monetized as quickly as I did. It only took, I think like three months for me to get to where I was monetized. And then the next month, I think that's when I started getting paid. Um, so it goes without saying, but I'm gonna say it anyways. Thank you guys, everyone watching, everyone leaving a comment, all my patrons, all my YouTube join members, all my astronauts, thank you guys so much because I could not do this without you. And I mean that from the bottom of my heart. So. I take this very seriously because this is a literal dream come true for me and I am going to continue to push and give you guys content and hopefully this is just the beginning. So to sum it up, I think anyone can do this. I think if you really want to do this, there are so many ways to make it work. You can DoorDash, try to find a remote job only travel during the holidays, travel on the weekends. I think 
if you really want to do this, you can find a way to do it to some degree. And van life is for everyone. And I don't want to, I'm not the spokesperson for van life or anything. It definitely is hard. There are nights where I can't find anywhere to stay. There was a night where I literally left my my uh, spot at like three in the morning and drove around so I found somewhere safe. There are nights where you park in sketchy areas and also nights where you park at the most beautiful places in the world. I think the duality of van life is just so incredible and beautiful. And I 100% recommend that any and everyone tries something like this at some point in their life because for me, this has been the most amazing experience that I've ever had. And honestly, if something should happen to where I couldn't travel anymore, I would look back on these days and be so grateful that I was able to live them and travel to these places and see these amazing things and meet these amazing people. I wouldn't trade it for the entire world. So that is how I make money while on the road. Hopefully I was able to, you know, give some kind of insight, some kind of information that you watching, if you are considering doing something like this, maybe hopefully this helped some. Um, definitely, if you guys have any questions, leave them below. I'll try to get to as many as I can. Um, if you guys wanna support me, Easiest way is to just hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed this content and want to see more. That definitely helps me out so much. Um, leave a like, comment. Of course, I have my Patreon and my YouTube join where you can get extra content. And I also have links in the description and my About Me, my um, PayPal, Cash App, Venmo, if anyone wants to help in that way. Of course, there's no pressure at all. You guys have already made my dreams come true and I hope you guys are enjoying these videos because I'm having a blast giving them out to you guys. So thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Peace out astronauts.